Welcome back to Demon's Souls, everyone. We are back to using the wonderful light during recording because it's that time of year again where it's starting to get dark earlier. Although, who am I kidding? I'm recording this pretty late, so I don't really have an excuse. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. What are we going to do? I'm actually not sure. I'm definitely gonna use these, because why the fuck not? And I'm also gonna use these, because why the fuck not? Um, that was an impulse soul usage. Yeah, I think we're just gonna, like, continue on in the game. Like, we we got through most of three, I mean 1-3. So, you know, let's... I'm gonna get to 30. 30-25 is, you know, the imaginary goal. It's not like a real go. Oh, I need to like deposit my shit, don't I? Yeah, I do. Because I have quite a few things that I don't need here. Cool, 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 cool. It's very fast and efficient. Let's buy some healing items here and then we can continue. I mean, that didn't cost a lot. Ugh, fuck it. I'm gonna spend my souls. So yeah, we're back. Back with the good old demon souls. Again, you know, in, in case you missed it, the reason why uploads are a little bit more infrequent on my channel is because of the puppy. Um, just gotta, I feel like I gotta mention it again, just in case, you know, somebody wasn't around the previous episode or the update. I don't know why that would happen, but it's certainly possible. Plus work, you know, that's the thing. Like, everybody's kind of like back from summer vacations. So work has kicked into high gear and, you know, like juggling... It's not easy. It's not easy. I'm lucky because I'm on flexi. But basically I gotta juggle meetings, getting actual work done, and the puppy who has his own schedule, you know. I.e. he sleeps and then he, when he's awake, you know, you gotta take him down to pee and all that. Because, you know, that he's not an outside dog. We don't want him to be an outside dog. Even though we do live in a house that has a yard. Obviously you don't want to just like keep your dog outside non-stop. Because that's not... I mean, it's possible, but I feel like inside-outside dogs are much better. But because he sleeps inside in his crate, that means that whenever he wakes up, uh, you gotta you gotta take him to pee, play with him, you know, he's like all fired up. You know, you know the deal. It's like, he's not at the stage where, you know, a lot of like adult dogs are where my old dog used to be, where they can just kind of chill. Okay, why the fuck do you deal so much damage? But they can just kind of chill, you know, without, you know, you having to do anything. They can be awake and resting. This puppy, Peretz, he's either in high gear or in park, you know, that's like, that's like this, the two states he has. Which again, is to be expected, it's just, what I'm trying to say is, uh, sometimes, at the end of the day, I'll just like chill and not get around to recording, I'll play some like Binding of Isaac or something, which I'm playing a shit ton of. Fuck. Okay, that's not something we are going to play with. I was going to play with that, but it's now, now is not the time to mess around with parrying. God, Half Moon doesn't heal jack shit at this point. So anyways, if you've ever played Dark Souls 3, uh, you'll know the origin of the Latria. Lothric, not Latria. Latria is in this game. Of the Lothric Bridge. 
It's basically this area. Copied almost exactly, to be honest with you. Nine. Nine full moons. Alright, fatty. We're gonna get you. Although, it's not even us that's gonna get him. Oh, fuck. Did I not... I didn't go back to Bjor. Ah, oh, that might be an issue. Actually... Do enemies respawn if you leave zones? Because this game no longer has loading between zones as far as I'm aware. These are motherfuckers a little bit. That's like a, quite a wombo combo, these three. Three spear assholes. Helps if I'm not two-handing. Yeah, they can stun lock you for days. That's like the issue. But they are helpless against the mighty parry. And the wake up reversal. It's not a re reversal. Oh, that's satisfying. So yeah. Um, I'm not sure actually what happens if I go back to Bjor. Like... I'm mainly concerned about these assholes respawning, if I'm gonna be honest with you. I couldn't give a rat's ass about anything else but rat's ass. I don't know why I said that. You know what, we'll, we'll give it a try, because I'm pretty sure I have the iron key which is needed to unlock his cell. And Bior is a pretty cool character. Not someone I'd like to, you know, leave unattended. Not unattended, but unrescued. So yeah, like I said, in my free time, I've just been playing a shit on a Binding of Isaac. Um, I really got into that game now. I have my issues with Repentance. Uh, but overall, I think it's a very positive update. Mainly the thing with repentance is I do feel that some of the difficulty spikes are well basically unnecessary and again if you're coming into Isaac new like if you just heard about Binding of Isaac and you pick up repentance and you start from scratch I don't even know how the fuck you can manage that because Repentance is so difficult compared to like Afterbirth, Afterbirth Plus and all that. I mean, Afterbirth Plus I think was considered to be the easiest because uh, there was like a lot of... Oh, hello. There was a lot of ways to break that version of the game quite easily. But yeah, Repentance is just mad difficult, basically, is what I'm trying to say. But, you know, just working towards it. I have all the main characters unlocked. So it's just the tainted ones that remain. And I think the tainted ones are the real interesting ones. Uh, the ones that actually work is what I'm talking about. Some of them, man, straight up bunk. Looking at you, Tainted Lazarus, which is unfortunately the one I currently have unlocked, the only one, and it's the one that's widely thought to be the shittiest and most unfinished. Whatever. Bior Bior. Quite a mustache he has. That bloody sluggard for me. I'm called Bior, the other of the twin fangs of Bolataria. That armor is cool. It it looks very like Roman, I always thought. Like centurion type. Yeah, and he's, you know, basically Onion Knight from Dark Souls 3. As in Dark Souls 3's Onion Knight is this guy. I'm just like 
trying to find. Okay, so this will be the interesting one. If I go back now, I did transition zones, but it shouldn't respawn anyone, right? I don't, I don't think it will. If the Dark Souls gods are, yeah, hell, yeah, you gotta have continuity. Continuity. This set is so weird, what the hell? Yeah, so we have the bloody iron key, we can't really do anything here because you need the official cap, which I might... I don't have. Okay, so you need the official cap to... enter that area, rescue one of the final NPCs, I think. Listen, this, this game ain't exactly swimming in NPCs, to say the least, so... It's pretty easy to get everyone back to your little necks. What the shit are you doing? How the hell did he aggro... Okay. Ostrava, you gotta be able to manage at least that. Okay, I'll manage it for you. Man. Brutal. Brutal Legends. The guy, does anybody remember that game? I have it. Like, physical disc have it. But, I don't remember it. That was decent. It had Jack Black in it. Main... Main selling point, I guess. Ouch. You're having a bad day. I feel like the third one is like super extra, like that third hit is not needed at all. That is so cool. Again, I can't reiterate enough, it's so cool seeing all these areas now that you can actually make out what the hell they're supposed to be. Alright, this is one of the coolest bosses in the game, in my opinion. Not not difficult, but if everything goes right, this should be really awesome. Hell yeah. Just don't give a fuck. Holy shit, this guy looks good. Oh man, I know his armor is in the game. It's like one of the... It's like really difficult to get. Probably not worth the effort, but cool secret. And yeah, if you do it correctly, Bior joins you. Which again is really cool. I mean, it completely trivializes this boss fight. But cool nonetheless. Yeah, he's basically, Bjor is basically like the Tarkus of this game. He's just absolutely, he's just absolutely brutal. Like, he can solo this boss. Like, look at how much damage he deals. And that's it. Sorry, Penetrator. Sorry, Penetrator, we kind of owned you, but I mean, this guy, this guy is so cool. I mean, he's kind of correct. I mean, th this guy is absolutely brutal. Like, he has insane armor. Uh, he deals, like, mad damage. So, you know, you know, like, Penetrator is not gonna have a good time regardless of what happens. I mean, it's he's not a difficult boss either way. He's kind of a dodgy boss. You just gotta, like, you know, Know how to dodge, know how to roll, which at this point you should you should know how to do that. Uh, and that's about it. Yeah, I'm gonna tease out that 30 HP. Not sure if I actually need that much. Whatever. What a Bjor. Unfortunately, the fire-breathing Drake. That's how I ended up in the dungeon. Beware the limits of your own power. Thanks, Bior. 
I feel like if you if you are gonna take anybody's advice in this game, it should be Bjor's. He seems like you know, and these are almost the same people. Him and him and Bjor, they went to the same mustache styler. They have the same guy, you know, on call. Okay, let's stock up. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. No, we're not done here just yet. The King's Tower once a symbol of Boletaria stands ravaged by the claw marks of Drake's. While silver-haired silver old King Alan sits on his crumbling throne, witness to the desolation. That's very nicely told. There is something important here. Very, very important. Our main weapon. Yes, it has taken us this long to get to the weapon I actually want to use. But hey, it's a, it's a story related thing and I want to use it because, again, story purposes and shit. You're still not dead? You gotta be lore accurate at least once. I mean, it's just these three assholes stand in our way. And believe me, they are not easy. Yeah, fuck that crystal lizard. So basically, these are Black Knight versions of the... The three bosses we fought so far. The Tower Knight, this is the Penetrator. And you have the Hunter or Huntress who is supposed to be the Phalanx. You gotta just like isolate them. So lore wise here, we're gonna get into lore now. That's how we do on the Mr. Sketchhead channel. Um, I think the official explanation is something like that. The demons killed these three people and they kind of took their souls so they, they were reanimated as black phantoms and the demons sort of assumed their form and you got to be careful with these, this guy this guy carries this weapon this weapon if there ever was an infamous I'm dead. Probably shouldn't have started explaining in the middle of fighting these assholes. Luckily, they don't respawn. That guy carries the penetrating spear. No, not pen <laughs> penetrating. <laughs> well, you know. Scraping spear, it's called. That shit is the biggest troll weapon in the entire game. Because the only thing it does... It deals jack shit damage. However... It can break all your armor and equipment in a couple of hits. That is the biggest fucking troll weapon in the entire game. It serves no other purpose. It serves no other purpose than make the receiver of the scraping spear very angry. And it was probably the most well-known trolling weapon in the entire game combined with acid mist or whatever it's called in this game that shit was primo so this is what you do with her uh she has a tendon okay they might have made her a little bit smarter because in the in, in the fuck okay never mind this is why you don't turn back into human form. I was gonna say, she has a tendency not to switch back to her bow. But it seems like that's been changed. So, what was I saying? Yeah, the scraping spear is quite something. I don't know who, which fucking prankster thought of that weapon. But GG's to them, that's all I can say. Did I not pick up? I didn't pick up my body. 
I'm officially an idiot. Motherfucker. See, that's what happens. Ah, cool. Don't worry. We got this. We just, it's just annoying having to warp back to the Nexus. I mean, you can't just warp past them or like run past them, but the issue is you just gotta, like you gotta deal with them every single time if you die later. Although I might have an idea. I can forge weapons. See, and repairing costs a lot more than um, just fixing up something. It's the same thing. Like repairing if it's broken. Although I don't think the weapon was broken, it was just damaged. I mean, I'm getting a lot of soldiers' lotuses, which are incredibly useful. Obviously. Come on, I just gotta... Holy fuck, that's a lot of damage. This guy's a bitch too, he hides behind that fucking tower shield. He don't fight, just wants to break your shit. Truly a fitting sort of imitator of an online player in this game. Because believe me, Demon Souls, it, it, might, it might have changed now. Are, you've got to be fucking kidding me, seriously. How much damage does that thing deal? Two shot? It two shot me? Okay, fuck it. We're bringing out some true Souls game tactics now. Those true tactics running past. That's a real way to handle any encounter in this game. The only reason... Is that what I need? Or do I need sharp stone? I think that might be what I need. Because I'm missing the chunks to upgrade this weapon. Not that it's gonna matter. It might matter later on because... It could be that the weapon I'm planning to pick up ends up being shitty. It's always a possibility. And in that case, I will continue using... Did he say something? Sounded like he said something. And I can't believe these guys have poise. Unbelievable. Um... I was saying something. Oh, this guy's fucking dangerous. That moveset, though. I swear that's not the moveset they used to have. I could be misremembering. Holy shit, you're quick. Okay, I very much lost that encounter. Luckily, stairs are always your friend. Oh, no, dr uh, there's no drop attacks. Um, cool. Super cool. That's dope. Um, oh, <laughs> I think he killed. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, well. If that's not classic Demon Souls, sort of re bringing back the old game, I don't know what is.
Man, that was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. I don't even think about that shit. So we gotta redo that again. I think... Did I get the pure one? I got the pure one. For Sharpstone though. I don't think that's the one we need. So yeah. Um, that death was... Quite spicy. I think that's what's defined as a spicy death. Cool. This fucking assassin, I swear to god. Yeah, bitch. What about that? Sometimes you just gotta mash. Okay. So where were we? Two. So he has one where he does four strikes and one where he does the two big ones. See, and then sometimes you just like completely own enemies. It's a little bit weird. Here we go. This section is a mo it used to be a motherfucker. Apparently, it's easier now because uh, you can like see a lot clearer what's going on. So this thing descends. I like how bird-like this dragon is. He looks cool. Yeah, and he starts breathing that fire down upon you. Yeah, and this thing used to be absolutely awful, because the graphics on his fire were really unclear. Man, that looks so good. His fire, do you see how it lights up in his mouth? That is crazy. That is really crazy and cool. Yeah, you just gotta sprint. Think about this area though, this last area of Boletaria, it's not the longest. And fuck. Listen, I swear I know the controls. I got sharpstone. I got both of them now. Okay, I can upgrade. So he's gonna switch places. And this is the real section that's like a motherfucker. Cause this like used to be impossible to avoid. It looks like they either like toned it down or they did something. Cause this used to be hell. So Bjor is there getting slowly cooked. Uh, you don't really wanna. And we have Emo Ostrava here. Is that new dialogue? Or do I just not remember? The gesticulation is a little bit weird. He's like... That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. And he commits Sodoku. Poor Ostrava. Like, you really do feel sorry for him, because he was just, you know, he's like the naive prince. Oh man, that's dope. And now, of course, his black phantom version appears. Don't worry. We're going to the mausoleum. Um... Ouch, ouch, ouch. Just gotta be careful because he can roll off so easily. 
And he deals a lot of damage. More damage than I remembered. Just gotta go for it. And he won. Unbelievable. Well, that's gonna put me back at the checkpoint. Still, we got the key. And the key is what we're really here for. Because we will be heading back to the gates of Boletaria. After 13 episodes, I think, we will finally get to the weapon I wanted to use since the beginning, but you can't really get this. You can get it early by killing Ostrava, but then you wouldn't see his cool little quest line. Anyways, uh, that's where we're headed. I'm gonna do a little bit of a cliffhanger and leave you guys here until the next episode where I think... Depends on how long I'll make the next episode, but there is potential for the next episode to be the last one. Honestly, it just depends on how things go. We just need to get the weapon upgraded a little bit and then last boss. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. As always, hope you enjoyed this episode of Demon Souls. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Peace out. See you next time.